Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So today we're back on the Tarte train, but today we're going to play with the Tartlet Full Bloom Palette. Um, I, okay, I haven't been the, the fondest of the Tarte palettes as far as color stories. This is what this palette looks like right here. And I would say this is a cross between all of them. Maybe not the toasted. I don't really see the toasted in here, but I see the tartlet, the tartlet bloom, and the juicy kind of in this palette here. Not really the toasted though. Maybe a couple colors, but not much. I would say this is definitely like these two rows maybe are a little warm tone but most of this is cool tone to me in my opinion um but here's the thing this is still available i don't know how long because the bigger juicy palette was a limited edition so i feel like this is too so i feel like if you could get this i would highly suggest getting this or the juicy just the regular juicy even right now over the other two because I feel like the other two are in this unless you like the warm which was the toasted that would be my only thing I'm gonna go into the shade peony first I do like this palette though let me say that now I like this palette I think that I could create a lot of looks out of it obviously I think that there are all going to be basic looks for sure but I think that they would be very pretty everyday you know wearable looks and and there's nothing wrong with that you know you, you want that you want to be able to use a palette unlike the other ones like the tartlet just the original one I would have to put a super shock shadow in with it. No big deal, by no means. But I can have that in this, that color store, you know what I mean? And still pull super shock if I wanted to, but if I didn't want to, I didn't have to. Where with that one, I have to have something because of my preference. But again, it's all about preference. But I think that if you purchase this, that if you're looking for that, everyday you know palette or if you travel in and you don't want to take you know a lot of palettes I think this would give you a lot of variety if you like the Tarte formula if you're new to makeup I would highly suggest this it's in a nice sturdy you know sturdy packaging it smells oh lord does it smell it smells ah amazing amazing I love the smell of this I mean absolutely love the smell of this palette it is so good so so good but yeah I would highly suggest this palette for beginners especially beginners or if you're just getting back into makeup while it is available because obviously I do feel like it is a limited edition thing but while it is available I highly suggest this palette okay the next shade I'm going to go into is creative and I'm just going to put that on my outer portion here and we're going to darken it up but yeah I really enjoyed using this one and I was kind of like uh oh I had forgot I, I you know got it and I was also scared because it says the full bloom palette 
and it kind of scared me because you know I wasn't the biggest fan of that palette only because I have so many palettes but again I do believe there is a place for these palettes and that is for beginners obviously I'll say it again these are amazing palettes for beginners or just an everyday easy type of look like one and done type of thing you know I think it's perfect for that I think I'm missing a brush because unless maybe I used this brush maybe I did all right, I'm going to use that same shade, the creative shade, and run it along the lower lash line. I will say, I like my makeup look today. I'm not a fan of my makeup, but I... Hmm. Yes, let's put it on my uh, my nose. Eyeshadow on my nose. That's going to work out oh so well. Alright. Then I'm going to take the shade Garden. And I'm just going to run it right on my lower lash line. And it does have lighter to darker shades in it, so you can really get you some depth out of this palette. For sure. So I do like that about this palette too. And it has lid colors, it's got my inner corner. Like, it has everything that I personally need in a makeup look. To, from start to finish. And I do like that, like I said. But, again, if it, now, because of the collection I have, honestly, I feel like I really only need this palette and my Juicy palette in my collection. I believe I could get rid of the other Tarte palettes, and I, I feel like I'd be okay. So see that it's got me thinking I really feel this strong about it that maybe it is time plus I have the juicy little the toasted little and the bloom I believe and the another one maybe the little palettes I forget what they they came out at Christmas you know what I'm talking about and I feel like that would be enough for me to be honest with you I'm going to go into the shade floral and I'm going to put that on the outer portion of my lid here I didn't wet it because I wanted you to see what it looked like you know not wet it's a very pretty color I mean all of these are very pretty and if you wet them they would be very you know shiny and sparkly but since I'm just going out to pick up some kitty litter and cat food I don't think I need to be going all that out you know what I mean not date night you know what I mean so I'm gonna leave it dry but you get to see how it applies you know then I'm gonna take cherry blossom and swipe that on the beginning portion like that but yeah I can definitely see myself using this palette and the other one and having that in my Tarte collection and being just fine even though I do feel like I said there is a place for those other palettes especially depending on how much money you want to spend and stuff but me personally these would be the only two so I'm thinking after I do the review of all these palettes that maybe maybe it's time to let go of some I mean, the whole point of going through a collection is to see what you like and don't like, right? And, I mean, but I, at the same time, I want to make sure 
you know, that I'm never going to want to use them again. Like, it's not just a today thing, you know. And I don't think so, because out of those palettes, out of these two bigger palettes, I really think I have everything I need that are in those other palettes even, you know what I mean? Except for maybe the toasted. But with that said, it's like I don't really wear warm shades like that, you know? So I still feel like I'd be okay not having that. Man, this is pretty colors. Do you see how shiny that is? And they're not wet at all. So, to me, that says something. I don't know about you all. But to me, it definitely says something. I don't know what, but something. I'm going back into that peony shade, that very first shade. It is so hard. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you got hooded eyes and that sort of stuff and you're aging, you know. You know what I mean? It's like your eyes just are not what they used to be. And it just gets harder each day, to be honest with you. I'm finding that to be the case. To get the eyes the same. Not so much to do my eyeshadows. It's to get the eyes the same. Because they're changing so quickly. I'm going to go in with Sun Kiss for my inner corner. They're getting more droopy and stuff. More hooded. And one is downturned more than the other. One's more hooded than the other. And I find that it just becomes a problem more and more each day. To get each eye correct. And I don't know. It's just not been, it's not been easy. And I do wonder, like, it's not the shadows, because the shadows I've been working with are really nice, to be honest with you. Thank goodness. But, it is getting harder. I'm going in with the Pillow Talk uh, Dream Pop. It's the brown mascara by Charlotte Tilbury. And I love this mascara for this look. Or this kind of look. Or it's just an everyday kind of basic look. I feel like this mascara just, you know, keeps it, keeps it looking every day, but yet it does something to make it look really special at the same time. It's like the perfect brown mascara, and it's like it's, it does exactly what it's supposed to do to my lashes and all. Like, I just really enjoy this mascara. Oh. You don't want to poke my eye out, though. And then I gotta get so close to the mirror because I can't see, you know, 
I didn't think aging was going to be like this. I really didn't. And not this soon. But again, part of it is my fault. I didn't take care of myself when I was younger. I didn't know better, really. Now that I know better, I try to pass it on to my girls. I'm like, no, no, wash your face every night, double cleanse. No, no, let's let's get sunscreen. Sunscreen's important, most important thing. You know, but and hopefully it works for them. I used to think I didn't look my age. Now I'm starting to think I'm looking my age, which isn't a bad thing. I'm fine with that. Whoops. Like I'm I'm fine with that. I just, I don't know. I don't want to look younger. But I don't want to look older, either. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I really love this mascara. It's become one of my favorites. For especially brown. Oh, I pull for it every time. I'm like, brown mascara today? Yes, ma'am. We already know which one we're grabbing for. That's one less thing I have to think about, you know what I mean? Because I already know I'm going for that one. I need my little brush here. Or somehow, there we go. Got that there. And then I lick myself up here. Get that off of there. All right. It doesn't look like I have any fallout from those shadows, but again, if I did, that's on me because I didn't spray the brush. But good news. I don't think I did. Then again, my makeup look isn't the best, although I really do like the eyes, so that's a plus for me, right? I win some, I lose some. There we go. Alright, so I have one more Tarte palette I do want to do for y'all, because I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do the Little Blooms, because basically it's the same thing as the original palettes. There we go. And we are done. So, all in all, if you're a beginner with makeup, or if you're just getting back into it, or if you're just looking for the, like, your basic staple products, or if you're wanting to stick to a very neutral look and a very easy look but yet be very aesthetically a pleasing aesthetically pleasing there we go this is your brand okay it won't fail you it's not going to fail you it's going to last all day it's going to be easy to work with you're not going to have any issues so i do believe that 
but depending on what you have in your collection you may be a step above this now you know what I'm trying to say like in the beginning I believe I needed these palettes for sure to learn or to practice or not to get so frustrated about makeup because the, the more pigment the harder it is to blend you know what I mean so and when you're first getting into it obviously you want to be looking like everybody else but you can't because you don't have the practice, you don't know, you don't have the know-how, you don't have the tools, you know what I mean? I mean, even now, I'm two years of doing this, and I don't know what I'm doing, you know? I'm just an everyday person. But I will say some products are easier to use than others. And some products look better on me than others, you know what I mean? So, it's all preference in the end, but it's nice to have help from your products so that you do look good in the end you know what I mean or that you're happy with what you created so to say but that is all I have for you today I will see you tomorrow I hope this helped give this video a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all so you're notified when I do upload I upload every Sunday and I got one more tart palette and then we'll go to our next brand and I'm really I mean I know I say this but I really am enjoying this going back through my collection and seeing what I have, what I no longer need or want, or what I have already within that brand in a palette, but have three palettes that I don't need because it's in one now. So, I'll stop rambling. I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.